Let us pray. Our gracious God, the giver of life and love, we come before you now. We thank you for this blessing and this wonderful occasion, God, that you have brought us together. We pray that you will bless us this day as we gather together to unite Kyle and Alexandria as husband and wife. We are thankful for the family and the friends, God, that are able to be here to witness the ceremony and to share in this joy. We pray that these proceedings will have your blessings and your honor today, Father, and all the days that follow this one, because we want to bring you the glory and the honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Today is a celebration, a celebration of love, of commitment, of friendship, of family, and of a couple who said to one another, and I quote from the notebook, your favorite movie, they said to one another, I want all of you forever, every day, you and me, every day. So out of affection for Kyle and Alexandria, we are gathered here in the presence of God, friends, and family to witness and bless the exchanging of the vows that will bind them together in the holy relationship of marriage. And when this ceremony has ended today, they will leave us as husband and wife, being joined together by the God of heaven. Who presents Alexandria today to be joined to Kyle in marriage? The marriage ceremony has been an important feature across nearly every culture, religion, generation, and society. We have thousands of important moments that happen throughout our lives, but this one is regarded as so precious. We acknowledge its special status by sharing it with others. But why? Why this moment? Because despite all of our differences, love is what we all share. Love is a great unifier that no matter where you are, who you are, where you come from, what you believe, we know this one thing. Love is the greatest gift that we can share. That's why both of you are standing here today. That is why all of these people are here today. We are, we're here all. We, we, we have all love in our lifetimes. And in this moment, we're reminded of the ability to love is the very best part and the very best gift that God has given to humanity. All of us here today have our own love stories. Some are short, others are long. I see some here whose story hasn't been written yet. And others, we're just getting to the good part. As for Kyle and Alexandria, today is a time to pause and to look back and small, smile at the moments of their love story that has brought them here. This is also a time to look ahead at all the moments that are still yet to be written. We are all here because, see, we want those moments for you. We're here to hope with you, to support you, to be proud of you, and to remind you that love isn't happiness ever after. Love is an experience in writing your own story. See, Kyle, Alexandria, it's not one moment. It, it's really not this moment. It's every moment. It's the big moments, like when you said, I love you, will you marry me? It's, it's the, the millions and millions of little moments that come together to form one big, great experience, like making dinner together, leaving little love notes for one another, or maybe binge-watching an all-day marathon of your favorite TV show. Those times together. It's getting that big hug when you come home from work. It's everyday moments fused together into one big, beautiful story. It is the love you have for one another that will carry you through the difficulties. Because, see, love will be stronger than any conflict, bigger than any changes. It is to love, to the love that you are celebrating and radiating today that must remain strong 
All you have to do is simply love one another. And that love shows through in everything you do for each other and how you treat each other in the good times and in the bad. See, love isn't just a word. It's an action. Love isn't something you say. It's something you do. Because love is genuine, honest, and open. It's compassionate and kind. Love doesn't know space or time, nor does it look through jealous eyes. In the modified words of the Apostle Paul as he wrote to the church at Corinth, he says, love bears all things. Love believes all things, hopes in all things, and endures all things. See, there are many different kinds of love. And I bet if we would look around today, almost every type of love is represented here today. There's that romantic love, the love of your parents, the love of your children, the love of a sister, of family, and that love that is among friends. Not only do Kyle and Alexandria love one another romantically, you can see that in every look and every touch and the moments they're together, they also love one another as friends. In fact, I believe they're best friends. Because see, it's the best friends you can laugh with, you can tease, and you can even fuss with one another. <laughs> and at the end of the day, you're still having fun together. That love and enjoyment of each other are best friends that will sustain you through your marriage. As it states in the notebook, Ka and Alexandria believe this, that the best love is the kind that awakens the soul and makes us reach for more. That plants a fire in your hearts and brings peace to your minds. That, and that's what they have given to each other. Their love says it's not going to be easy. It's going to be hard at times. And we're going to have to work through it. On this, we're going to have to work on it hard every day. But I want to do that because I want you. I want all of you. Forever. Forever. You and me. Kyle. Alexandria. You may have fallen in love by chance. But you're here today because you made a choice. You both are choosing each other. You choose to be. You've chosen to be with someone who enhances you. Who makes you think. Who makes you smile. Who makes your days brighter. You're about to make promises to each other that you intend to keep. You're going to vow to pray for each other, to take care of each other, to stand up for one another and find happiness in the other. There's simply a premise to each of these promises. You're vowing to be there. You're teaming up and you're saying to the other, every experience I am going to have, I want you to be a part of it because I love you. Will you, Kyle McKinney, keep Alexandria Smith as your favorite person from this day forward? Do you promise to be the husband that God has called you to be? To love and laugh with her? To go on adventures with her? To support her through life's tough moments? To be proud of her? To grow old with her? And to find new reasons to love her every day? <laughs> Will you, Alexandria Smith, keep Kyle McHenry as your favorite person from this day forward? To be the wife that God has called you to be. To laugh with him. To go on adventures with him. To support him through life's tough moments. To be proud of him. To grow old with him. And to find new reasons to love him every day. May I have the rings, please?
answered prayer, I know you are the one. I give to you my heart and soul with a love that will never grow old. In my life, I can see that you were made for me. You'll be there to catch me if I fall. All the days I have prayed and the love that I have seen. With this ring, I'm giving you my own. Thank God for the gift He's given me. A love is strong for all eternity. I give to you all of my days with the love for all of your ways. In my life, I can see. That you were made for me I'll be there to catch you if you fall All the days I have prayed And the love that I have saved With this ring I'm giving you my the spring I give to you my all In the days that we grow old the times may change but our love will be As we look back on this day now we stood the test of time letting the promise of our vow In my life I can see that you were made for me. I'll be there to catch you if you fall. All the days I have prayed and the love that I have saved. With this ring, I'm giving you my all. I'm giving you my all With this ring I'm giving you my These rings are more than an ornament or a piece of jewelry. They are a symbol of absolute sincerity, purity, and enduring nature of your love for each other. You both have chosen to wear rings as a reminder of the vows you have just spoken. People often say that wedding bands are a perfect circle with no beginning and with no end. But if you think about it, these rings did have a beginning. The stone was formed a long time ago deep in the earth. Eventually through a series of events caused to raise them to the surface and someone dug them up. And metal was then liquefied in a furnace at a thousand degrees, and molded and cured, or cooled and painstakingly polished. Something beautiful was made from raw elements. Your love is like that. It comes from humble beginnings. And through a combination of events, it's shaped into something extraordinary. It's the process of making something beautiful where there was nothing at all. As you look at these rings over the years, I hope you remember that. That today, your two hearts now are joined and beating as one. You've created something invaluable. 
And just as I know that you will protect these rings, I am confident that you will protect the commitment that you're making to one another today. Kyle, take these rings and place them on the third finger of Alexandria's left hand and repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol of my promise to be your faithful husband, to love and cherish, to protect and provide in good times and in bad, in joy and in grief, all the days of my life. Alexandria, would you take this ring and place it on the third finger of Kyle's left hand and repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol of my promise to be your faithful wife, to love and cherish, protect and provide in good times and in bad, in joy and in grief all the days of my life. Let us pray. Almighty God, as we reflect today, and Lord, as we recognize you as the source of all that is good in our life and that you are truly love. We thank you for giving life and sustaining each of us every day with your blessings. And so, Father, we ask now that you would bless this couple with happiness, with strength, and to strengthen them, to keep them always in your care. May their love for you and for one another grow abound. In Jesus' name, amen. Now that Kyle and Ale Alexandria have given themselves to each other by solemn vows and by the joining of hands and giving and receiving of rings, in the presence of God, family, and friends, by the authority of vested in me by this state and as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you man and wife. Kyle, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am very happy to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Kyle McHenry and family. <laughs>